Which of these two pencils is the most pointy? The left one, huh? But how much pointier is it? A centimetre pointier. A kilogram, a square metre. How can one measure pointiness? This is about angles. An angle measures how far a line turns in relation to another line. Pick a point, a point or a ray to use the right word. Draw another ray from the same point but in a different direction. When we talk about angles, we call these two rays sides. And to measure the rotation between these two sides, we need a scale to measure it on. Angles are measured on a round scale, in degrees, like this. The scale looks a bit like the face of a clock, but instead of one turn being 60 minutes, here a full turn is 360 degrees. Degrees has its own symbol, a small elevated ring. You recognise the symbol and the term degree from measuring temperature, but here they mean something other than degrees Celsius. A degree of an angle is one 360th of a full turn. Since a full turn is 360 degrees, half a turn is 180 degrees. A quarter of a turn is half of one half turn. 90 degrees, and three quarters of a turn is three quarters of 360, which is 270 degrees. Look at the angle we drew earlier. One side is at zero, and the other is just between zero and 90 degrees. The angle is 45 degrees, a 45 degree angle. Now that we have a scale, we can measure the points of those two pencils. Let's start with the blunt one. The point of the angle, the vertex, goes to the middle of the scale. One of the sides, the edge of the pencil, at zero on the scale. Now we can read the scale at the other side of the angle, that is the other edge of the pencil. The angle of the pencil is 50 degrees. So let's compare this to the other pencil. Place it in the same way. Vertex at centre, one edge at zero and read the scale. This one is only 30 degrees. A lower number of degrees means a sharper angle. This pencil is 20 degrees sharper than the other one. If you draw a scale like this on a round piece of transparent plastic, you get a protractor. A protractor is useful to measure angles. Place the midpoint at the vertex and turn until one side is at zero. Then you can read how many degrees by seeing which number is at the other side of the angle. But look out, check that you're measuring the correct angle. Hold the protractor wrong and you'll measure the rest of the turn. To mark which angle you mean, the inner or the outer one, add a small arc in the angle, like this. This time, we mean a 60 degree angle, not 300. Sometimes, it is enough to describe an angle approximately. There are a few terms worth memorising in order to do so. Because this angle is less than 90 degrees, we call it acute. If we increase the angle to precisely 90 degrees, it is no longer acute, but a right angle. Look at the little arc. Here it looks like a capital L. It means just that. It is a right angle. This is an obtuse angle. All angles which are greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees are obtuse. Now, the angle is completely straight. You can't even tell it's an angle anymore. One side points in the opposite direction from the other. This angle is exactly 180 degrees. If we make the angle even blunter, it becomes a reflex angle. You won't come across reflex angles as often as the other kinds. In order to measure an angle, you will find a protractor useful. There are protractors that are circular and protractors which are half circles. On a half circle protractor, there's often a second scale running in the opposite direction. Angles, they are measured on a round scale in degrees and one degree is one 360th of a turn.